Hello and welcome to today's Race Blows. Today we are here for episode number 170 something, 73. All right. And of course, we are joined by Trauma Dumpmer. <laughs> here to dump my traumas. <laughs> oh. I'll be right back though. Hold on. Give me a second. Bro missed out on the saying he was leaving. Alright, I'm back. <clears throat> I did add one extra race. We do have the water track for the hot rings because I figured we got to show off the new hot ring truck at least once. It is a very swag track. One of my Beyblade Stadium has absolutely no, like all of the scratches and shit on the, uh, the floor of the stadium. And then once I get Valkyrie, <laughs> all the sides of the stadium just get torn the hell up. Bro hasn't had an Feels attack Beyblade. No. <laughs> Tacklunior is the only one and all my other Beyblades are like super defensive, so they don't really get hit back. They're about to when I at pull least, up my guy. Yeah, at least not by that dude. Dude has high attack, but not high enough attack to hit back any of my Beyblades. Feels good to be in a uh, all right. supercar again, though. We stay killing it, my guy. Oh my god! <sighs> Fuck, dude. Did you lose it, my guy? Yeah. I don't even know how. It was... It's unfortunate. That was a weird one. Maybe your car wanted to be bug bug cell. I definitely want to kill myself if I, for whatever reason I wanted to be bug bug self. <laughs> bug bug cell. I'm fucking done, dude. <laughs> so seconds before um we got on to do this racing video for y'all. I was scrolling through Tinder. And uh, I found a bug bug self person. They weren't looking for a relationship, just friends. Oh, but uh, it was a caterpillar plushie. That was the only picture. And they were like, I just want friends. Send me pictures of bugs. I love bugs. Bug, bug and I'm just self. like, I'm done. I love reality. And <laughs> that's what I love. <laughs> You're just showing your far right tendencies. Uh -huh. It's all I do. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, it's a good. <laughs> wait, wait. Oh fuck. I don't know if this joke's gonna work. Okay. But um. <laughs> That's our oh my video. god, we're only four minutes in. It's fitting you guys do racing content all the time because all you guys talk about is turning right. Oh my god! I mean, it's all right, but it could be better. <laughs> oh man. I couldn't remember if the cars turned left or right, natural like for the majority of races. 
both. Oh shit, they upgraded their tracks. I mean, <laughs> They're man. like uh, Beyblade for the second season with Burst. It's not the second I... season, my guy. It's the third series. Because I thought that... Um... At least a couple years ago, they didn't have two. They only like went in one direction for majority. Well, are of you tracks. talking about NASCAR or racing in general? Like <laughs> NASCAR. Oh well, yeah. Then that's turning left. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's why I said that this joke might not work. <laughs> well, I mean, you didn't specifically say so. We're doing racing, which we typically race in both directions. So the joke does work in that context. Also, NASCAR yeah. features like seven road courses now, so it's a little more split up. Um. Um, but yeah, on the uh, on the topic of that, bug bug self. Um, oh, wanted to tell you, my guy. Uh, when I had moved to, because you had said um earlier when I was telling you this that uh, you just want to um I want to meet actual, you said? I, I said I want to meet actual women and not people that pretend they're women that are really just dudes um you know just yeah, a normal so, woman who just goes by like I don't know normal ass fucking things to refer to herself like her she those types of things and not fucking banana peel fucking lemon starburst or fucking attack helicopter exactly <laughs> just like normal shit it's all I fucking want <laughs> Oh, that attack helicopter means back. Um, the attack nah. helicopter means back. But uh, you will get canceled and thrown off Tinder so fast, my guy. I um, when I was down oh, in Florida, no. being a, when I was down in <laughs> when I was down in Florida, being a Florida man. I want to be a uh, Florida man at this point, dude. I had the um, I had a picture up on my Tinder. From... You holding fish? No, 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 no. I had a picture up from my Tinder from the Black Lives Matter protests, and bro, my whole account got like shut down for three days because it was like you, one of your profile pictures are inappropriate, and then it didn't show me which one it was until like I got it back, and that one was just gone. <laughs> you I was Florida? like, "All right, welcome to Florida." Yeah, <laughs> someone must have reported my account because of that picture. You'll love to see. I'm trying to get my account reported. I don't really give a fuck. <laughs> and the picture in question was uh, me at a Black Lives Matter uh, protest in my city. It wasn't <laughs> it, was, it was mostly peaceful, <laughs> um, but. I was holding up a sign. Uh, we were doing a couple of different speeches and stuff like that. Uh, that was when you were going real just... woke, my guy. No, no. I I feel like at the time, because I still do believe that black lives matter. No, nah, but you but were going like extreme that... left at that point, my guy. You were on your way. What's another example of me going extreme left in this time? Your desire to be gay. Remember that was a thing for a while. My desire to be gay. Yeah. I don't think anybody wants to be gay, dude. No, that is true. Cause I, by default, means to cringe. Nowadays, like. Maybe if I identify as like an '80s gay or a '90s gay. gay. Fuck it, done. In Hades, gay. I'm fucking done, dude. Uh, oh, these trucks are wild, dude. I think this is the first time we're actually getting them in a oof, video format of one of our racing series. Yeah, this is the first time we've done since they came out. <laughs> actually, you guys did a live stream? <laughs> no, this is the first video we've done since they came out. That was a live stream. Is a live stream not a video? No, it's a live stream. It's its own category. Ah, oh, who got that one? You, obvious. 
wasn't close. I don't know. It looked more like you got it, but <laughs> take it. I mean, your whole tire was ahead of me, dude. But okay. Oh, 100%. I, when we cross the line, I'm looking. I'm not looking at our cars. I'm looking at what the position says. And mine flashed on two for a second. Just like in the last race when mine had flashed first and you said that you got the point. So I was like, all right. <laughs> That's what I judge it by, because if it's too close, then I can't tell. Oof. As we conclude the waterways race here, made by Rockstar, I thought I'd point that out. This is Rockstar's the most swag race, in my opinion. Um, oof. Oh no, I hit the water. I'll take it. Rockstar's most swag race in my opinion. Um, don't know about you, but uh, definitely one of the good ones they've released. Rocking my Jock Cranley track suit with the Jock Cranley car that didn't show up for whatever reason. That it didn't show up? No, on my screen, no. I saw it. Yeah, sometimes it doesn't show up. It's kind of strange. You go to uh, work today, Gamar? Yeah. Did anything no. wild... Nothing wild happens when nobody shows the fuck up. They switch to their 10 hour days yet, or their 10 p.m. days? Yep, today's the first day. <laughs> and everybody fucking hates it because it's stupid. There's no need to be open that late, even in the summer, dude. I mean, realistically, who's going to buy measuring tape at 950, dude? Yeah, it's like one of those things, like, if you <laughs> really want this shit, you'll get it during the day. Like, you're not sitting around at home being like, damn, it's 9 o'clock. I should probably go fucking get materials to build for my house tomorrow. Like. <laughs> yeah. No, you need a. <laughs> it's a reset. Damn, I need a new refrigerator. Like. <laughs> Three, two, one, go. You know what? We should get flooring and redo our entire fucking house. Like, okay. You know what? I'm going to fucking repaint the whole house right now. Let's get on that shit. Yeah. Like, bro. Like, I understand the whole, like, awake at any time kind of thing, because, like, time's a construct. But I, I don't get the whole, like, oh, let's go to a tool shop at 9 30 because i need something like because only you only go out at night typically when it's something really important or it's something that you like need for something that you're currently doing like making food or whatever and even then you'd probably double check before you make something like yeah. a meal and have to go out because you forgot something like i, I don't go to the stores probably past like seven o'clock no. Um, unless I'm working there. And it's it's just, I don't know, dude. <laughs> Definitely would not go to a Home Depot. That's for sure. Or a Lowe's. Yeah. Like, like that's why Home Depot need... closes at 9 o'clock. Every single one. Like. <laughs> whatever I need, I can get it at Walmart, probably. <laughs> and again, probably just wait until the next morning. If I need to go to the uh, the local Ace or Lowe's or Home Depot or whatever, like, just wait until the morning. Yeah, it's one of those things that, like, the reason that they stay open is because the ones that are actually doing business 
that are relatively close nearby and we can't be in the fucking middle closed. Oh my god, dude, come on. Come on, dude, are you fucking serious? Bro, crashed. No, I fucking missed the checkpoint because this fucking cock whore can't put it a little bit wider. Or it doesn't stretch across the whole track, I guess I should say. I was on the track, but I didn't grab it. So that's the thing, like, the store is in between two busier stores, which even then it's not going to be, like, really pop in those other areas at 9 o'clock. Uh, and also, apparently, they think that they can get customers from Home Depot when most likely you're picking one of the two stores and just going to it, or you go to both and don't give a shit. Like, that's going to be the mindset of a customer. Like, if, if you like... Home Depot over Lowe's, or you like Lowe's over Home Depot, you're probably not just going to go into the opposite store, buy one out, and be like, you know what? They were open at 9.30 when I needed them. I'm shopping there from now on. That's just a fucking yeah. shitty excuse. Because if Lowe's is your second option to Home Depot, then it's going to be your second option. And just because they were open at 9.30 and you got a piece of sandpaper isn't going to change the fact of which one you prefer to go to. Like... No. For example. any store. Like, it's not going to change. Yeah. So... The only thing that can change it is, like, your experience as a customer if you go to one and they do some fuck shit and the other one, like, treats you better. Like, that's why we have a lot of people come into Lowe's because they say at Home Depot they don't get treated as well. So, there's that. That's what... Yeah, I mean... You get treated a little better when nobody comes and helps you. So. There's that. But then obviously it goes the opposite way. Then somebody complains as they're going to Home Depot. So, I mean. Either way. Those are the people that also don't give a shit at which store they shop at. If you're going to go to the opposite store because of one little thing like that. For example, um, not a big fan of Walmart. Every time I'm in Walmart, I want to kill myself. Not a joke. Um, and, uh, yeah, I, I still shop at Walmart. Make it quick, go in for whatever I need and get the fuck out of there. But um, I would definitely go to a different place ahead of time. Or I would. the only reason I would go to Walmart other than a different place is if the place that I was going to, I knew didn't have the item that I was looking for. Yeah, like that's... Then I don't care, dude, because I'm looking for that item. Like... Yeah, 100%. That's... That's the thing. Like, I don't go to Walmart because Walmart's cringe. Um, the only time that I go is I'm looking for NASCAR diecasts in those stores because Walmart typically sells out and restocks them faster than Target does. So, Target will have the same ones on the shelf for six months because nobody buys them. Walmart, they'll sell out in a day. Because I went to Walmart one day, there was none on the shelf. Next day, I went and it was stocked. And then my mom went the next day and said that it was one car was left on the shelf. So that shit sells too quick. Then I go to Target, and they have the same cars with the same amount on the shelf for the last month. So that's the only reason that I go to Walmart is because the cars stock way faster. Because Target's going to get some in, they're going to put them on the shelf, and then they're going to sit there. Especially with the one they have on the shelf now, the test waves, pff, shit's never going to sell. Actually... It sounds like that's something that would happen if you were at, like, a functional target, but uh, typically how it goes is it doesn't get put out onto the floor for 20 fucking years, and then... Well, I'm literally time... using your store as the example of the one that has them on the shelf, but yes. Yeah, I mean, we probably have, like, the newest, newest wave, but, like, we're You probably so... don't because nobody bought the old ones, so there was no need to reorder them. Because they're not going to send them to a store that isn't putting them out and selling them. doesn't make sense. 
if there's no demand for it, they're not going to supply it. So I'd assume so I have it. yours. So why sell those cars in the first place? Because it's just you know they're not going to sell. They sell it basically every target. It's just because yours got stuck with the test wave. That's the real issue. Which nobody gives a shit about them, but somebody, somehow they got there and got put out. Somehow. Oh, look at that. One of the toughest slappers are on Rumble. Oh my god, you're showing your far right tendencies again! I don't the fuck anything you just said was, dude. Um, the world slapping, organ this slapping thing that Dana White's holding, hosting, okay, to support now, is on Rumble, which is a free speech conservative platform. For, well, it's not a conservative platform, but you know everything that's not left gets turned conservative, and um, bro, it's basically free speech. Ah, oh, bro, what? I thought this was a fucking. All right. God damn it! I thought this was like a race to have the truck. This is what it is on. This is whack. Oh, I'll just pull over now. It's not that I don't read, it's that I was in the middle of a conversation and I was focused on the conversation. You've been focused on a conversation before and just wasn't paying attention to driving. And uh, I just didn't see the track that it was and it was already set on this for the sports cars. So I thought we had another race of these cars coming up. <clears throat> it's unfortunate. We'll do some talking, carry this shit, my guy. Our best track, fucking. It's time trial now, so. Um. Do you have any thoughts on the Rumble thing? Far Rightmer? Um, I mean. No, I guess. Should I have an opinion on it? You don't have to. I don't have an opinion. <laughs> what do I look like a what do I look like a lefty forcing you to have an opinion? Um, no. But <clears throat> I have a story from work today. It's gonna save it for a little bit later, but or just here memeing around. Um, so there's been a constant issue at tech with People who link to the Bluetooth speakers and play some inappropriate shit. <clears throat> Been there, done that. So, yeah, so uh, usually it's like a, a vulgar song or like mm -hmm. some shit. But um, today there were these kids who like actually played a porn video on the Bluetooth speakers. And there was like a bunch of kids around tech and like, bro... <laughs> Uh, so the tech guy had called me because I, I was just about to go on break and he's calling for security and I'm, I noticed that the security guy wasn't there because he I uh, said bye to him and so I, I let him know like hey no security is here is there something I can help with and then he was telling me like there's some kids who are playing porn on the speakers and there's kids around 
And so I hear that porn and kids. Absolutely not. I fucking go to the back, shut that shit down right away. Um, turn the speakers off and we're looking around for the people who are connecting to the Bluetooth speakers. And these kids fucking like these kids spot me. And this one kid comes up to me and tries dapping me up. And I'm like, who the fuck are you? And this kid like runs away because he saw the other guy coming, which who's the one who watched me originally. So they ran to the front of the store, two kids, like 13 and 14 probably. And um, I had stayed in the back, turned off all the Bluetooth speakers. Um, I was going to turn off all the TVs too, just because they can also link to that, but they don't typically do that. And uh, it was like their third time coming in the store and doing it today, apparently. And um, we uh, banned them from the store. There was the manager that was up front that saw them running to the front of the store, told them to get the fuck out, and uh, blacklisted them, so, yeah. That's a racist term. You can't use that. Right, right. Um, people of color listed them. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, yeah, so that was that experience. Shit's major cringe, too. Um it's fucking wild. It's one of those things that, like, is just lame because you're just fucking with shit that doesn't need to be fucked with. Like, bro, these are on so people can... I mean, I don't know why the Bluetooth is necessarily on them, like, turned on, but, um, like, it's one of those things that people have them there so they can, like, see them and decide, hey, do I want to buy it? And then you just come in and fuck around with it. It's kind of cringe because then... They look at the point where they're like, alright, well, we can't be playing these, and people can't decide, hey, do I want to buy this because it's a good speaker? Because some fuckboy wants to play some dumb shit on it. Yeah. Yep. And um, it's not the only, like, issue that we have with people connecting to shit. Like, there's a bunch of other issues that we have. There's um, the girl that, when we were in the store the last time that was working tech, she, uh, I usually talk to her and there were some kids who took inappropriate pictures of their, not of their junk, but like they took inappropriate pictures with the tablets and fucking computers on the display. They got computers and on I'm display just, again? Yeah. And so they were using the camera to fucking do stupid shit. I think they went on Safari, downloaded like porn pictures, saved them as screenshots on the thing, and some people like actually looked through the the photo thing. I do from time to time just to delete whatever's on there if it's inappropriate. Um, but yeah, that's a common one too that people like to do. Yeah, that do be whack. I remember when they didn't have any computers because one dude fucking stole half of them so we had to take them all off the shelf. I remember the woman that did security came around and was like, yeah, we got to take off the shelf, so. We took them off. And I mean, they were super secure, so they weren't easy to take off at all. Like, we just had to yeah, undo. No, like, like, all we had to do was just take off the little sticker tab thing and then we were good. So it wasn't like it was hard. Uh, <laughs> now they're like fucking bolted down, but. Bro, I was watching this, um, or I was at work a couple of weeks ago, and there was a Lego set that, or it wasn't even a Lego set, it was just a spider wrap that was cut. Like, it was, someone stuck a screwdriver, like, through the alarm part to shut it off, and then they cut the wire with, like, wire cutters or scissors, I don't know what they used, but they cut the wire after that and stole the product. And so you just saw, like, a mangled spider wrap. And I'm just like, bro, how in the hell did they have the time to do all this and not get caught on the camera? I still remember like, the most <laughs> wild thing, bro, and how does that work? Oh, man. <laughs> that shit got fucking shut off. Um, this is back in my... Um, simping ain't easy time. Um... Battery so, days? No, no, no. This is 
<laughs> this is outlaws. I pulled up to oh. the the paint paint zone, and okay. there was something that had to be wrapped. And there's like a little machine that you can wrap the thing in plastic. Huh. With a little. I knew it had to be wrapped. You don't have to say anymore, anymore. Uh, it had to like the it basically is the spider wrap things, but it's not the actual. Um, it's basically the similar thing, but we just have a little thing that clips onto it. But they're stuck with like a a piece of plastic instead. And I heard one of them started beeping. And um, let me do the randomizer real quick. Ooh, five point bonus for second place. Look at that, Gamora. Yay. Um, yeah, the thing started going off, and then Emily just put her hand on that shit and turned it off. Like, somehow she just shut it off with her hand. Because it's supposed to start off with, like, a magnet. And that was, like, the most ridiculous shit, how she started from beeping just with her hand. And we're just like, what the fuck just happened? <laughs> it was just like, all she was, she just, like, put her hand over it, just held her hand there, and the thing just shut off. <laughs> and it was like, what the fuck? Fuck. I I never seen anything like that, bro. I was I was shook. Reminds me of uh when I was coming into work and periodically so we have locks on our doors to make sure nobody fucking dumb comes in who doesn't work there. And they periodically change the lock number. And it happened sense. to be a day where, oh, God damn it. All right, let's reset. Three, uh, two, my, one, go. It happened to be a day where they changed the number on the lock. And so I put in the old number as I was coming in. And uh, I it worked. And I didn't think anything of it because I didn't know that they had changed it at this time. And then someone comes in, the door shuts, someone comes in after me, or someone tries to come in after me and they're fucking sitting there for like 20 minutes. And like, I open the door for them and someone who's already inside the door says, oh yeah, the lock change, you need to type this number or this number in. And I'm like, the lock change? How the hell did I just get in here then? <laughs> like, I put in the same old number. like. That was weird, because, like, I had tried the number after again, and it didn't work the second time. But 100%, the number that I put in was the old number bef or after the password had changed, and it worked somehow. And I was like, okay. <laughs> like, that <laughs> That's <just> weird. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense they changed it, because obviously it's just a... Uh, pin pad compared to having like a lock on the door or something that's just a key that most people have. Yeah, I think it's um. Oh, it's reset. Three, two, one, go. Yeah, I think um. All right, dude. Oh, fuck. They changed it after winter, or mm. after they fired the winter Three, workers. Three, two, order. one, go. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, because you just bring in a lot of extra people temporarily for like two or three months. Fucker, dude. Oh, cool. What are you going up? 
Oh, isn't this the first boss we can just like swear in whenever we want? Yep. Fuck. What happened? I don't know. I can swear now, can I? Uh, I mean, I think you could have before, but okay. just was not in like the first 15 seconds or whatever. <laughs> I think that's how it worked. Three, two, one, go. Well, what if that was going to become the short? Oh. C could be. That was a reset. Yes, yeah, so, uh. Three, two, teleport. one, go. So when you hit me back, because I had kind of hit into you a little bit, uh, when you'd hit me back, you pushed me off to the side, I missed the checkpoint. That's why I called the weight up there. <laughs> It'd be like that. That's why I got so far back. Slightly ran you off the road, my guy. All right, that checkpoint isn't placed brilliantly. It's a little more to the inside of the curb there. I think at the time it was done intentionally because that was the part of the track you're supposed to take more, but now the checkpoint's getting made bigger. It's not really... Needed. <laughs> Basically, just be better. That's all. The who guy? Right, go who Gamar. corner dude every time Another one. Here we go. My guy, what are your thoughts on people watching our content to watch you win the races every single time? Within been a while, we get like, like 2,000 plus viewers on almost like two or three shorts that we make a week for GTA race content. This GTA race content right here that we're making right now that we make into shorts and people watch it just to watch me get fucking wrecked every single time. Because, I mean, you mostly post shorts that are you winning in those that specific genre of shorts. Like, for that race yeah. post. Because if we look back at it, you either post me crashing and flipping up in the air because that's what I do. <laughs> <laughs> or you fucking pulling off a wild-ass move or passing me or fucking <laughs> yeah. going at me. And... That's like every single short. So that's basically what people are doing to get to watch. So I mean, I guess the, the views, guys. I guess the return question is, how does it feel that people tune in just to watch you take L's? Like, but listen, I feel like I take L's in a in a <laughs> entertaining way. Me. If we get if we get two thousand plus views a week on me crashing on my own, dude, <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Be crashing on my own. Fucking done. <laughs> yeah. It's fucking wild. 
I mean, listen, Kamar. What about three? Kahuka he. Oh, this the shock was sports classics. Yeah. Switch it up, Gimitarian. Agahu, Agahi. Fucking hell. That was short. <laughs> Let's do this. I'm going to come back. Oh, I hope you fucking do, my guy. Okay, just understandable. Watch this grass on the inside of that corner. Oh, yeah, I know this grass be a bitch in this race. I hit that no, shit. <laughs> and it just. Like, normally if you hit it with like, the Krieger, it just slows your car down. That shit just said, nah, you're spinning, fam. Sorry. Bro. Yeah, no. <laughs> this grass is a little bit different with these cars, dude. What the beep beep is that, dude? Chase. Beep beep. Can we chase him down? Can we get Gimitarian? Find out next time on Is This a Shortworthy Moment? Because this episode hasn't provided many, if any. And also presented by These Nuts. Who's really trying to make a short moment? I don't know. Just saying shit, my guy. If anything's a short moment, it's me spinning on the grass every time. Ah, oh, I love the the way you drive on this track. It's a little bit different. You have to force you to take lines. Me? N well, I mean, me forcing me to take different lines. <laughs> Gahu Kahi. This is the chase. Bro, that Minecraft video you sent me on Instagram, that was fucking wild, dude. I did like that one. Did you see the one I sent you? Uh, I watched like the last five. I don't know. You have to be specific. With I sent you one on content. messages because this dude's like, oh, you got to send it to me, not on Instagram. What's... Dude's still going. All right. Dude. What? I said pause. Like I mean, if you say shit ago. and your microphone cuts out, dude, I can't stop. If you say shit that I don't hear, what do you want me to do? Stop? Like. All right. They can go from here. God. Every fucking time I don't stop when your fucking controller dies. Because this dude still doesn't know how to fucking charge his controller. It was charged. Again, I don't know why it died, dude. I had to replug it in. My God. It's just not charging right. So, ecock, dude. Bro's always got some fucking thing. It's not charging right. It's... it's Shut up, dude. Bro. <laughs> I didn't charge it because I'm Gamar. I left it I unplugged didn't have all day. I didn't have my controller charge, no. 
My shit's always ready to go, my guy. I don't know what you need. Cool. Good for you. Would you like a cookie for that? Someone's got to come prepare, my guy. Maybe you don't, but I'm always prepared. I'm prepared with the jokes, dude. That's what I'm here for. Yeah, I understood already. I'm the joke master, dude. That's we don't. I'm... No, your jokes are made. That's why so... comedian. That's why comedian is in my Tinder bio. Cool. That's why it says. People also put swipe. their fucking magical fantasy land fucking pronouns in their bio. So, are right, you saying right, that you're right. fucking you being a comedy is your fucking magical fantasy land? No, I'm saying that it's one of my hobbies. <laughs> Am I not a comedian on YouTube, dude? I mean, I don't know. My make guy. a class, make a class show. I would consider myself a comedian on YouTube. A YouTube comedian. I mean, your A-class driving the other day got us short, so. Exactly. exactly. And again, I rebound off I rebound off shit. I feel like you also provide that content. Couldn't be a comedian here just talking to myself, dude. Like, it's not really, I'm not really good at that. <laughs> it's normal comedian shit. I'm not your average comedian. <laughs> Y'all know what I mean? You're below average comedian, my guy. Leave a like on this video if uh, y'all don't think I'm a comedian. Most liked video. <laughs> Literally everybody likes it. Seven billion likes, my guy. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Nah, this is going to be our most disliked playlist, dude, that is title name. Why? Because of the uh, San Bernardino racist reference board or whatever it is yeah there's no five pillars of whiteness Bro. <laughs> yes stop you, you're, gonna, you're done dude <laughs> Bro, so five pillars of whiteness, bro. To the Fresno five pillars of whiteness. Fucking done, dude. Literally done. Remember when you won a race, my guy? Yeah, waterworks. In this playlist. Remember when you won so many races last time that we went to the list off, my guy? And you earned yourself, Gamar, the lowest handicap that you've ever had in this new handicap era. Did you just did you call me a cripple? I did, yeah. Be better. Capmer. I need to put on a good song. So that way I can beat you in this fucking race, dude. Because this is that bullshit. I'm done losing. <laughs> Bro. I've had it. Bro. Let's do this race. Nope, Stop. you're getting finished. So you saw your friend Amber today, my guy? Your friend Amber, my guy? I said my friend. Bro, you loved it when she was dead. No, no, no. I, I think it was her, yeah. Uh, she's buying a PS5 controller and talking about Hogwarts with me, so it sounds like something that Amber would talk about. <laughs> right. I don't know. I, I really don't know if it was her, but I'm pretty sure, like... Pretty good with faces.
bro text me this shit fucking immediately, bro. Yeah, dude, and I'm like... Well, it's your best friend, dude. I can't, like... No, this is my area, best dude. friend, bro. Yeah, she probably has a phone now. There you go, you hit her up. First that she probably has a phone now, you can hit her up. Bro. <laughs> I'm kidding. If that is really you, Amber, how you doing? I hope you're doing all right. <laughs> oh, yeah, like she watches our videos, my guy. She could be, dude. She could be playing Hogwarts Legacy right now watching our YouTube videos. She could be listening to the story of how Josh fucking stole my weed and got fucking talk shit and get hit. All right, I'm going to find out if she watches this video by putting out this short saying of this conversation. It's going to be a short. And it's going to say, Amber, do you watch our videos? No, dude. That's dude's gonna... really struggling. Dude's really struggling for content now. I'm, no, I'm telling you because you said she watches the videos. And that's how we're going to prove that she watches the videos or not. Because then she'll comment, I watch your videos. Or she'll comment, right, no, but, I don't watch your videos. But when you edit it. Don't edit the reason of why I had that conversation because I still want people to watch that video and go and listen to that specific story throughout the playlist to hear it because that took a long time. What? Because I had just said, like, the whole reason that I was arguing. Oh, yeah, no, I'll leave that in for sure. Bro, it's going to ruin the... All right. <laughs> The other thing, you said that I'm reaching for content or whatever the fuck you said. That'd be a funny meme because nobody else will fucking get it besides you and me. So everybody else will be like, what the fuck does this mean, dude? Who the fuck is that? Bro doesn't have the galaxy brain that I do. Chill. Man, you just, you don't understand, my guy. You're not a content creator. You're just a content producer. Like, you kind of just put out whatever content is requested of you. You don't really, like. What are you talking about, You're not dude? on the creativity side. You're more just on What the... are you talking about? Okay, I'll make a Beyblade unboxing today. Okay, I'll do the race bus today. Okay, I'll, you know, I'll make this RC video today. Like, you're not on, like, the creative side of it. You're just kind of, like on the produce the content and move on side of it. It's okay, my guy. What do you mean produce the content and move on? Dude, are you saying that I don't put effort into my videos? Is that what you're saying? I didn't say that. I said that you don't then what think are you saying? you're not on the creativity side of it. Like I'm out here thinking outside the box, like that'll be a dank and funny meme. How many views is that gonna bring in? You're just like, you know what? I'm gonna make this video today. That's what I'm saying. Bro, what do you mean? I'm, I just told you a 4D move, dude, because if they hear the entire reason of why I had that 15 Yeah, but that was like a week ago, my guy. We're, you know how the internet works, my guy? We're on to the next content. In internet right, history, that video was like a decade ago. It's old news, my guy. That's kind of like 9-11. We kind of moved on. Like... Um. <laughs> That's wild. Yeah. Kind of like nine eleven. We kind of moved on. That's <laughs> fucking ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I I'm glad nobody watches this. Bro, I mean. <laughs> I got nine views on my Ken Block Hoonigan video today, dude. <laughs> <laughs> nine people watched it somewhere. Like, <laughs> you gotta think about that, my guy. <laughs> yeah, but like. You know, 
make this into a shirt. Short Curtis finally found out how the internet works. And you know, it's on a channel. Nah, which not coming from you, my guy. Are, Absolutely not. Which it's on a channel which all your videos are like localized into one giant like basically storybook. I know. So, I've been doing so this really, for almost eleven years, my guy. Chill. <laughs> I don't know why you're telling me this, but. Oh, I'm just saying. <laughs> well, that last race sucked cock. When jail? <laughs> if you want to find out when jail, let's ask when. Do you have any updates for us? Uh, I do not. Josh, uh. Uh, actually, I heard that my um, my parents were having a conversation the other day with the the public defender. So, did your parents I, ask uh, when Joe? No, they just gave updates on it. You tool. What, Whoa, the what the fuck, fuck was dude? that? I don't even know what the fuck that was, dude. Oh my god. I'm gonna wait up for you on that, because I don't know what the fuck just happened, dude. You, like, hit a fucking invisible wall and just yeah, yeeted up the track. At first, though, you just tried to take me out, but then I'm like, nah, this dude did not try to take me out like that. Alright. Yeah, I did not. I was just driving, dude. And my car just spun right. the fuck out. It was weird, dude. All Give right. us a countdown. Three, two, one, go. Shoot. Stop. Oh. Dude, stop. You ready for this L, dude? Fuck. I mean, sure. Three, two, one, go. I'll take that. Thank you. There you go. No dumb shit happened that time. I don't think you cut down as far on the track.
take one fucking win. Jeez, dude. Had so many fucking dumb, stupid ass ones. Yeah, I don't know why you weren't on the banking the whole time. Uh, well, like I said, I don't really know how to take tracks like that. Um, yeah, but I figured but you'd know that from like we didn't. Um, the the hot ring races that we do are like way up on the wall. You get more speed coming down. Uh, no, I mean, it worked out in the end. Yeah, I went up there a lap too early. If I went up the lap after, you wouldn't have known that. <laughs> what were you going to say that we didn't do? Um, uh, we didn't do the practicing yet. I know we've been meaning to do that, but yesterday we got caught up with online racing with dudes and I forgot about this track. I would have added trucks to it, but I kind of forgot the track existed. I just forget it exists until we do in the playlist over the last three weeks. Track's pretty technical with these cars. Uh. Yeah, that's a good one. How have All you right. beat me the last two ovals in the race belt? So that's kind of wild, my guy. <laughs> Maybe that last one, I you definitely would have beat me if I didn't adapt your strategy there at the end. Uh, nothing else is working. That's the only reason why I decided to go up on that and. Um, I don't, I genuinely just watch the races. I really don't see how the cars drive when they're on specific tracks, but. Basically the thing on larger ovals like that, um, I mean that one you could take flat out because they made it a super speedway like uh, Daytona and Talladega, but obviously in GTA it's a little different. But a lot of the tracks you like, uh, take two different approaches. So you can either uh, go to the... No, first on the front, you want to cut close. right? So you want to cut close those white lines uh, on that track. And then you go in the corner and you either go up high or you go down low. Going down low is going to take... Uh, this is all in the banking. Keep that in mind. So going down low, you're just going right along the white line. That will keep you... You know, shorter distance around the track. Right? But you also have to let off the gas more. In normal racing, again, in GTA, it's a little bit different because the way the cars drive. But the bottom, shorter distance around them. But the top, you get more speed because you don't have to let off as much. And it's a little more flowing. It's a longer distance, but it's going to give you more speed down those straights. 
So that's why going on to lap five, I blew by you because I took the high side and I just carried so much momentum because I didn't have to slow down for the corner as much. Um, and it was a more sweeping turn than being just a little tighter to the inside. But when you go down the back straight, you want to get close to the wall and then you want to pick your lane from there. So again, we'll go over that more when we're actually on the track. It's probably be a little easier to visualize, but that's the basis. I mean, I could visualize that. Yeah. Again, we can, we'll hop into the tracks and go over it. It's more the short tracks that I feel like are more where we need to work on. Because that one, you got to get more of the braking zone. Because, again, the short tracks, you want to go on the straights. You want to push out towards the corners. Or on the straights, push out to the corners. Push out to the walls on the straights. And then you want to cut close into the white line on the inside of the track on the shorter track. So we did Martinsville, North Wilkesboro recently. Both of those, you want to get out towards the wall. And then go into the corners and get close to that white line as you can. Okay. Yeah, then I'd have to like go in and do Yeah, so uh, Oh, another randomizer. Let's see what we got. Of course, last time it was the five point bonus. This time, Gamar, you have earned a bonus weight up. Yay. That's actually, uh, that helps. Is it one point? The bonus weight up is free. Yay. Isn't that great, guys? Give it up for Wan. Yeah. The guy in the video. So, of course, that weight up works just like the regular weight up, but you don't have to use any points. Of course, uh, next weight up you use will be free. And you still have your two point weight up at the second half of the playlist here. Oh, wait, didn't you do a three point bet on a race? Uh, I think so. Give us the countdown. Three, two, one, go. We haven't had a uh, 16 race bus in quite a while. How the hell are we back, Gamar? Uh, we here. So now that we've done two races with the multiple randomizers, how we feel about it? Um, I like that because I felt like I felt we'd get the same um, randomizer back to back for episodes, and then it would get like really unfortunate because the randomizer has so many good options, and I'd like to see more of that. Yeah, so I'll put it into the official thing. Of course, that also does eliminate the double points, which. Double points just being an option in the randomizer, I feel, is a little cooler than um, 
you know, just having it every single week, it makes that kind of more special too. And of course, having double fastest lap or triple fastest lap means you get three points for a fastest lap um, compared to the normal one. Uh, puts a little more emphasis on going for a fastest lap if that shows up. So, of course, you've already seen one of the new things, which is the bonus weight up. That's a uh, new feature. It eliminated one of the. I forget what it eliminated. Oh, uh, swap bonus points because. You don't really earn bonus points anymore. And the way you earn bonus points is through the randomizer itself. Of the three bonus points to second place. So that'd be kind of whack if the first one was swap bonus points. There's no bonus points to swap. So switch that out for the bonus weight up. I think that's pretty, pretty swag. I think the bonus weight up is one of those things that can be uh, a beneficial thing too. Cause I mean, if you obviously you don't want to use that weight up on like something that's not, you know, obviously in like the second part of the playlist too, like you don't want to just use that two point weight up and burn that on something. And then you have another opportunity. So now you kind of got two shots at it. Yeah. Uh, I feel like you could, could throw in a little, Wild element, if necessary. <sighs> All right. Holy hell. Oh. I uh, I almost threw this entire fucking race, dude. Damn, why well, I fucking fucked up. What'd you do? Drove past the checkpoint. You drove past the checkpoint? I drove past the pits. Oh, damn. Sure, that's what you almost did. Uh, no, I went to the pits, but... I didn't realize how small the box was, like uh, down the pits. Because normally when I build tracks, I make it the whole width or the whole like distance of the pits. But that one I made a really short one. And lots of times I just like fuck around. When I go in the pits and like kind of drift, and I drifted it. And had I not drifted, I probably would have missed the box because I was like sideways in it. Oh yeah, yeah, that's what happened to me. I drove right past it because it was small. Oh, I thought you meant like you drove past the pits themselves. No, no, no. I drove past the pit box. Oh, you drove through it. Okay, I got you. It's fucking gay, dude. That's all right. Of course, your main thing here is going to be going for those four final wins. Just pick up four wins in the next six races, and you can still go to the list. Though. Has been done before, Gamar. Will it be done this time, Gamar? Okay. Live Beyblade Battle. All right, so this is the one I was telling you that when you do it, you want to 
in the corners get like right on the line. Uh, whether it's the white line or just like the separation between the flat and the banking, you want to get right on that and then push out wide to the wall on the straights. All right, it does look like we have a white line, so you want to get like right on that at the bottom of the track here. Yeah, get right on this through the corner here on the white line. And it's going to push out to the wall here. And then come back into that white line. and then back out to the wall. Damn. All right. Saved that shit from being a full crash. I'm going to hit the wall slightly, but. Oh. Tried to get way too much on that corner. goodness damn spin out just the last second try to correct a little too much yeah no I kind of felt myself uh, spinning out a little bit there as well I was up against the wall so I, I didn't get as fucked up a rare Curtis mistake rare Curtis L Said rare Curtis L. Shut up. When the student surpasses the master. Bro really has won the last three ovals, bro. I'm done. What the fuck? The thing is, yeah, each think... one has been on a last corner pass. Like, you pulled up, dude. Last time we did North Wilkesboro, you were there. Nuremberg, what the fuck? Yeah. What? Damn, this dude made Nuremberg I th I think it's a smaller Grand Prix layout. Oh, okay. It's impossible to do say. the one with like 120 <laughs> turns, but you can do the, uh, cause they made a Grand Prix layout for Formula One. Um, they used to race the, the full length track back in the day for the German Grand Prix. Um, and then they made a smaller one. So it's going to be the smaller GP one. It doesn't really Ooh. connect much to the full track, but actually the full track now does contain this part as well. So it's like a even bigger layout than it used to be back in the day, but I've only seen one F1 race at this track. It's unfortunate it's not on the calendar. We need a German Grand Prix back, honestly.
We need a German Grand Prix and a South African Grand Prix. But instead we get a oil money Grand Prix. Part one, two, and three. Whoa! Yep. What the fuck? These like things as I drifted through the things that break. The top wing of my car just got caught on like the very top of that thing and it just launched me a mile. Come on, car. Cool. Oh, wham mistake. Uh, yeah, ah, fuck. I fucked up. Are we going to see the bonus weight up used? Nah, not here. Not yet. Smart move, of course. Your chance to win the buzz relies solely on winning the races. One DNF, one disqualification, but the list off is possible because anything is possible. <laughs> Alright, can we not do this again? Thank you. There's no talking. You good? Where's the commentary? <laughs> Sorry, I'm just being the chat. <laughs> You're driving with the chat, does my guy? The highest. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, this is the Common Curtis L area coming up here, so. Aha! Common Curtis L area coming up. Hi, Juan here. Get one every episode, <laughs> don't we? Hi. I'm a common <laughs> walking L. But guess what? Curtis makes a mistake one time. That's the Common Curtis L area. Even though my name's Good, 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 Good Mar. And I mean, I'm always let's taking break it down. common L's. Let's break it down. If you rarely crash, right? So that'd be a rare Curtis L area, not a common Curtis L. No, if you rarely crash and you've crashed twice in the same area on the track and you're most likely to crash in the next lap when I catch your ass, then... I mean, I didn't really crash the second time. It's a common time. Curtis L area, dude. I mean, we've only had this race in the track in the playlist for one episode, so... We'll see how many times you crash it, and then we'll revisit this next week. All right. I mean, I've done three laps, and I've had one and a half crashes there. So I've had one and a half crashes because a half crash is a thing. It is. I didn't like fully like fly. I just kind of like. I didn't fully fly because I'm in a car. <laughs> I drove. I'll use my weight up. Damn! What a fucking time to use the weight up when I fucking just. Yeah, I yeet myself off the track into the fucking next goddamn dimension, so. Cool. Looks like you're on the track right now, Dubby. Oh, I just crashed, but you missed it because you're too far behind. Ah, did you go? You're lucky that was your countdown, Gamar. 
Why am I lucky that was my countdown? Because if it wasn't, you'd have been fucking penalized 5 billion points. Why? I don't know. <sighs> Three, two, one, go. Keep it together, Gamora. You know what this area is, my guy. The area where I just absolutely pulled away from you. The area where I just absolutely pulled away from you and I didn't spin and crash! Whoa, dude just glitched on track. Cool. Uh, did you miss the checkpoint? Slightly. Ah, uh, so maybe it wasn't a glitch. What the fuck happened? Um, I went full speed. I tried to get a little too much to that corner. I, I was making it work before, but I got a little too ambitious with the curves. Yeah, I found myself. Hmm, found myself in trouble in this specific corner of the track. This is the common win L area right here. This is where I got myself in trouble last time. Going to this last corner, I got way up on the curb and flew across the damn track. Fuck. My car is all roasted and toasted, dude. Car is beat? Oh yeah, this thing's absolutely fucked, dude. Cool. And I've had the same car since lap one. I haven't done a respawn. Oh my god. Go. Try, dude. I really tried in the end there. Just couldn't pull it off. Ah, oh, it's because you suck. <laughs> Listen, y'all. <laughs> you try beating this man. Oh wait, y'all do every single Wednesday. It's racing masters, and y'all get fucking roasted every single time. Oh my god, these dudes try to pull up every night, bro, and get absolutely bodied. Oh, that's because he raced with the catch up on. Go, go. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Quinn. Probably that one race where we raced with catch up off and you fucking pulled away from everybody like 30 seconds ahead. Yeah. I do. <clears throat> and then you got kicked, and then I got kicked. Yeah, I do. <laughs> For fucking. That. Being legends. I was there. I did get uh, kicked after Tommy in that race. All right. Good morning. Wan's challenge is simple. Oh, <laughs> win the next three of the four next races. Bet three. Wan's still going for points.
even though he's 78 points behind. All right, we'll make it. That was a little bit tighter of a corner than I thought it was going to be, but we'll take it, Gimitarian. Gahoo-gahi. Gahoo-gahi. Oh, boy. We are drifty. Agahoo-agahi. Damn, that would have been a brilliant pass. Ah, oh, so close. But just suck. All right, dude. Listen. Bro really wants this work. Get the near old beep beep back over here, dude. Are you good, Neil? <laughs> yeah. Be No. We're gonna sound like a fucking store brand cat, bro. Holy fuck! That's a reset. That's a reset slightly. All right, three, two, one, go. I found out my issue with this car. I don't have off-road tires. That's. I don't need off-road tires. Yeah, I wouldn't think you did. Dude, I could. Also, that's already like a naturally slidey car. Look, ah, oh, fuck, it's about five. Shit. What'd you do, Gizmer? Fucked up. Dude said dumb fucked up. Well, that's it for Wanitarian, guys. Come back next week for another Wan... Oh, yeah. All right. All right. Well, slight mistake. But that's it for Wanitarian, guys. Come back next week to see if Wanitarian... Can get the Dovetarian sponsored by Agahu, Agahi, Agahnero, beep beep. Um, actually, Juan still has a chance if he can win the next three races. So for you to say that he's out is actually not allowed and is highly racist. What is it? Racist. No, can you say it with that voice again? No, I can't, dude. <laughs> okay. Surprise, baby, little battle. Ow, fuck. <laughs> Bro. 
Bro got bodied by his own Beyblade. Now the fucking ripcord came up and hit me in the face, dude. Bro probably deserved it. <laughs> well, Bro probably deserved it. That's that fucking witchcraft shit. <laughs> That's <laughs> some witchcraft shit. Oh boy. This is your super sport, my guy. Oh boy, this is Gamar's chance. If Gamar wants to win in the race playlist, he must win this race race. Agahu Agahi. Tagugi. <laughs> oh my god. Do you guys want to see the list off? Well, comment to and saying, Can you win a race for once, dummy? <laughs> and comment Gahu Gahi down below. Uh -huh, how do you spell that? Agahu Agahi. Bro, I want captions on this one. Spell how it sounds. Exactly. I want captions on our videos or just the gamer noises. <laughs> it's just going to say inaudible gamer noise. Well, I know how to spell Gahu Gahi. G A H G A H H O O. Right? Gaha Gaha Gahu. And then we need Gahi. Gahi. G A H E E. Gahi. <laughs> What about near or beep? Bro, I, used to, I this sounds a lot like so as a kid, I had this friend that I made a language with, and it was called. <laughs> oh my god, this shit's so fucking funny. It's just it was called uh, the yuck language, so it's everything, every word, but it just says yuck in front of it. So, be like, yuck is up, or yuck. Yuck, yuck is yuck up. That's a reset, my guy. Bro, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. All there right. was like a, a village. It's called Yuckville. Three. Two, <laughs> one, go. I made a language with my friend. I was telling you. I was a kid. You don't make languages now, my guy? Nope. I mean, we, I mean, we got gamer noises. That's what we have. We have gamer noises. Yahoo! Kaha! Gamer noises. Good, 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 good. Dude, you're drinking water. <laughs> <sighs> oh, my God. <sighs> Agahu, agahi, aganyo, agawi, agamia, agatnyo, nyo, beep beep, shup shup, gup gup, yup yup. How you feeling, uh, Gimitarian? Pretty good. How are you feeling? I'm feeling fantastic, Gamar, because. I know I'm going to win this race post easily, and then next time on videos we record together, I'm going to reveal my absolute wild team lineup that's going to body you in Beyblade. Not a reset? Okay. Oh, I didn't hear you tell that. I thought you said this guy said... Countdown. Three, two, one, go. Yeah, I didn't hear you call a reset. Uh, that's on you, Gamar, for being a whore. Sorry, you fucking don't speak English, dude. I'm sorry, <laughs> you don't speak English. Hi, hi, Gamar here. Slut. Hi, Gamar here. I speak slut and uh huh. So, so, uh, guys. Um, if I say something like really like quietly on the microphone and you don't hear, that's actually on you. 
And also, if you don't like hear me the first time, that's racist, and you're actually blocking me out. And hi, Gamar here. My pronouns are frog, Actually, no, frog, I'm not gonna they, block you because you're all over the fucking track, and dude. Control your car, dude. Hi, Gamar here. Winner of 35 race plus in the 173 episode series. But I know about car control. That's why I've won so... Oh, wait. That's why I fucking lost every goddamn time in the last eight months. Don't ever talk to me again, Gamar. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Bro, I swear, if you get near me, dude, you're done. You're done, though. It's over, bro. Bro crashed. Embarrassing. Haha, <laughs> bro crashed. Bro crashed. <laughs> it's bro now, bro. Hi, bro. Yeah, he's a bro now. Shut the fuck up. Okay, bro. <laughs> Shut up, dude. You're just gone. Gonna Let's... Change your name to... Just gonna change your name to bro, dude, from now on. Let's end this play. Let's do a little victory burnout here. Shark murder, bro. I just did a little victory burnout for you in the corner, Gamar. Make sure you check it out. Thanks. I will. And thank you for the view. <laughs> I slightly hit the wall. That's mildly embarrassing. I got who? I got he. Bro. Okay. Now, bro. Okay. Okay. Bro dot. Okay. Okay. Hey, bro. Hi, bro. Bro with the dot. My car did not. Okay. Bro. Well, that's a fucking reset. Brilliant. Your name is Bruno. It's a reset? For me, I flew outside the fucking track. No, you said it's a reset. You have to stop, dude. Bro, stop. No. Bro, what? I call a reset. You re literally said the words, that is a reset. Yeah, I call the reset for myself. No, dude. Where's your victory burnout? Bro pushed me across the line. I was literally going to reset. Where was your victory burnout, dude? Oh, you missed it a while ago. Ah, <sighs> uh -huh, you missed it a while ago. I did a burnout just for you. I spelled your name. Uh -huh. I probably could. I probably could. I'm not good at doing burnouts. I'm just, I'm just a pro burner. Bro, your burner's probably like fucking Suckmer69, bro. Shut up. <laughs> Ha, <laughs> Sockmer 69. Sockmer. So I talk about is sucking cock. Ha <laughs> ha Surprise me. Bro said it. All I talk about is sucking cock. Surprise Beyblade battle. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> I-I fucking can't, dude. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Hi, Gahuga he here. The ha Are you good, dude? It seems like you're going through a lot. Just copy what you sound like, dude. Bro has got a lot going on in the background. No. But, have you noticed that in the background of my videos, I know you like skip through them, but in the background of all of them, I have a fireplace playing. You hear like fire crackling? No. You can't? No, I noticed your Hitler shrine in the background, but. My Hitler shrine? What are you talking about, dude? I've seen it, my guy. <laughs> Guys, go check out my Hitler Shrine. Um, check out all the Beyblade videos, too. And y'all post if you can find the Shrine for Hitler. Yeah, you gotta look, look closely. Every single... Every single one. Every single one of Wan's Beyblade <laughs> unboxings. The thing is, you can't tell and which one's his or mine. 
So you have to go through each <laughs> one of those as well. Uh, so just, right. go th just go through all the melee boxings. Once you find a WANS, uh, you should find the Hitler Shrine. And from there... And I believe that the Hitler Shrine only is visible if you like the video. And subscribe. <laughs> Oh my god. So look closely and you might find it. <laughs> Again, can't tell which one is one of, <laughs> can't tell which one of us is when, so you'll have to watch all forty six of the current Beyblade videos as of this recording. Uh and uh yeah. Shorts as well. It only appears in tell certain videos tell and shorts. <laughs> Good thing is, is that Mohan uh, demonetized hate speech or remonetized hate speech. I guess I should say. So did he, or did he just like say "fuck" in the first ten seconds of a video? I don't know. I mean, let's let's test it. Suppose the Hitler Shrine thing is a short, and Supposed see the Hitler Shrine, and see if damn dude's hitting invisible barriers again. No, the top of that track has a slight barrier uh, or slight platform, but they use the square platform. So if you slide out just right, you'll get good, 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 good. <laughs> uh, I see. Yeah, I hate when that happens. You typically want to do in the gut, gut, gut in Gumar. So. Uh -huh. So how you're known as Suckmer in the YouTube community. Nobody's yeah, given Mohan more fucking suck this year than Adolf Wanmer. I love how there's rain on the... In the tunnel? Yeah, in the tunnel. But the track there's rain on, the track that you're driving on, there's rain. Even though there's a track, because the tunnel is built with another track above it, so... You're telling me that the track above it is not wet, but the one that is, is. Okay. Listen, my guy. You can't. Oh, my God. Oh. Bro, is this the fourth oval that you're going to lose in a row? This doesn't count as an oval, my guy. Ah, it doesn't count. <laughs> is this is the fourth do? oval you're going to lose? Hi, when here. I can't tell what an oval track is. Looks like an oval to me, dude. Does it? Yeah, if you like. Turn I mean, it a little bit. Squint. Yeah, until I go here and I slam the brakes on and then do a right turn after doing all left turns. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah. Well, I mean, the Earth is in a fucking uh, perfect uh, circle hi, either, dude. Hi, win here. Uh, again, I don't know what oval tracks look like, uh, but hi, th I think this is an oval, so I'm cringetarian. And Dude, which one of us is the artist here? Which one of, us, one of us? Is, how good were you in geometry, bro? I have to fucking record videos for your bitch ass. No time for art. I have to record videos for you. Like this dude doesn't want to record more videos than he's already doing. Shut the fuck up. I don't want to record more videos than I'm already doing, dude. It's a lot of videos to begin with, but. One RC video a week, dude? No, 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 no. We're talking about, like, far in the future. But, like, as, a, as like, a normal, casual thing, I don't want to do, like, two videos in a week. Just, to, like, I'm fine with doing it for, like, months for events, but I don't want to make it, like, the normal thing that I do. Because there's a lot of, like, videos and shit. So why'd you agree to do a Beyblade video every week? I mean, I'll do a Beyblade video, dude, again, if there's shit, uh, like I said, if there's shit, like, that is announced for the new Beyblades that we'll be able to get and review. We also discussed it being potential... Uh
discussing news of upcoming things or random battles as well. Don't forget that. Yeah, but as like a again with the new Beyblade series, if it's something like actually lit and interesting, then I'd be down for it. But I don't think that's something that could be like the main content. Do you? I mean, how long? Because obviously, there's a point in Beyblade where they're not making the Beyblade, or they're making the Beyblades, but they're not, like, doing anything currently with the current generation that they're on. Like, they release a set of, like, five, right? And then they just, like, are working on the next set of five, but currently they have those out. Like, what am I going to do after I do five unboxings? Let's say. And two battles. And, like, some news about the next Beyblades coming up. I don't think it's like a continuous. We can stretch thing that, that shit out for months, my guy. What the fuck are you talking about? I mean, if you could do that, then <laughs> sounds good. But can you do a news? You do random battles. I mean, you got a bunch of Beyblades already. It doesn't have to just be new ones. Yeah, but like that's the new ones are what people are gonna be interested in. I'm. I mean, I wouldn't want to click on a video from now if it's the new generation of Beyblades. That we're yeah, but I don't about. feel like they're going to come out right away, my guy. They're going to get announced to come out in like three or four months. I mean, I may be wrong, but... They might like release a Beyblade as a prototype or some shit for this announcement coming up. Like how they had the duo Eclipse Coral Coral? Yeah. I know it wasn't like the first Beyblade thing, but... You know. I got you. I'm glad this is the last race. Why's that? Um, I tend to lose focus on some of these races after we get to like race 15. You can't drive in the rain anymore. It's wild. Nah, if that grass wasn't there, that would have been a brilliant pass, my guy. That was that was intentional, but that grass just yeah yeeted me. This is why in the old playlist times you'd always come back towards like the end because you would pull up and I would just be like doing whatever the fuck I'm doing. Yeah, what are you doing, dude? <laughs> Fucking around and finding out, my guy. I came around that corner and lost my front wing. And then I didn't have any grip, and then I slid into the grass, and then I blew my tires out. Like, let me thrive, my guy. Cool, dude. What happened to you? Car has been a whore. Sorry. Take that dub at the end. 
Double capital E. Like what? Yeah, big capital D. Sounds like your hobby, mine. That sounds like your hobby. I just fucking say right back and you just use your own jokes. I'm fucking the greatest. Bro said some whack ass shit to me. And then gets fucking called out. And he's like, oh, oh, yo, yo, yo. Bro said you can't even drive in the rain. I still got a fucking fashion left than you. By 1.1 seconds. So when can go enjoy some penis? And another news. That is the end of the news. And once again, it is your boy. Professor Dubitarian taking another commanding and easy victory on my way towards continued greatness oh in this series that we like to call the race playlist. Oh my god. What? <laughs> what happened? Uh, uh, the fucking the Tinder, oh my god, fucking swiped you. Tell or, us. I mean, uh, uh, dude, Tell us about so that. Many. That's just so many these and them's and poly bisexual fucking whatever's every category uh, you can select my guy in fucking one second they're fucking like, poly what trans this? what is this non binary oh what the fuck demisexual is this, dude? bisexual antisexual I have a chronic illness that affects what I can and can't do. So there's a fair warning. And op I know. I know there's a chronic illness just by your. F What's that? <laughs> Whoa. What's in this episode? <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> That's right, guys. That's the end of the episode. I've continued my quest towards victory and overall greatness and success. Well, Wan has continued to disappoint once again. And until next time, remember if they. Slash them wants to match with you on Tinder. Uh, Say no to cringe. Another one.